Hi, I'm Scott Skerians with Lincoln Electric. Lincoln Electric's official sponsor of EAA. And today I'd like to talk to you about TIG welding safety. Now TIG welding, there's a lot of UV light that comes off the TIG welding process. So you wanna make sure that you're protected, both your eyes, your skin. So you wanna make sure you have the right clothing. Um, first and foremost, I have uh, some leather, or excuse me, some sleeves here that protect my arms. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's hot outside. Okay, I use these, these actual sleeves to help me do that. So when I'm not welding, I can take them off. When I'm welding, I can just pull them up and that'll protect my skin from the UV light. Now UV light will burn you and it doesn't turn tan. So you must protect your eyes and your skin. Also, I'm wearing gloves. I'm actually wearing some TIG welding gloves. And TIG welding gloves are kind of unique. You want them to fit nice and tight, almost like gardening gloves, so you can feel the torch and feel the uh, filler metal in your hand. So you want a nice uh, pair of TIG gloves. You don't want to wear old stick welding gloves or MIG welding gloves, something like that. Also, you want to definitely protect your eyes. Okay, always wear safety glasses anytime that you're going to TIG weld. You always want to make sure that you've got your safety glasses on. You never want to know when something's going to fly up and hit you, hit you in the eye. So you definitely want to have a decent pair of safety glasses that wrap around, protect the side of your eyes. Also, you want to protect your face and your eyes um, from the, the UV light. Okay, it's very bright light, very intense heat. So you want to make sure you wear a full face helmet. This is a, a four by, excuse me, four by six uh, welding helmet, auto darkening, solar powered, no batteries, has four sensors, and it's adjustable nine through 13. Because some people use a number nine, some people use a number 10. It all depends on you, the person. But when you're welding, and you actually weld and you lift up your helmet, it's like someone took your picture with a flashbulb camera. You want to darken this, this actual lens. And you can do that by actually pressing the actual buttons on the inside. That adjusts the actual uh, darkness of the helmet. So those are some basic safety tips um, for TIG welding. Again, you want to make sure that you're fully protected. You don't want to do this without any protective gear. Um, have fun TIG welding. See you later.